Hello fellow teachers of science and maths. Have you have a problem helping students remember how to convert between units of measurement? A issue I'm getting more and more these days, especially with the focus on numeracy assessments, they just can't seem to know how to change between common units. So what can we do to help along with that? And the really important question that I always get asked, do I divide or do I multiply? I haven't found a really good idea yet on how to work this out. So I came up with an idea today and thought I'd share it with you and see what you think. So start by um, getting the students to write down the units with the small ones going to the bigger ones. So start with the small and then go bigger. Then we're going to add in the conversions of how we change from millimetres to metres. Now we know that you divide by a thousand. So they need to know that there are a thousand millimetres in a metre. If you can, they can remember that part, the rest will be okay. And then the part that I seem to have struggled with, even year 11s these days, is that they don't know that there are a thousand millimetres uh, th sorry, a thousand metres in a kilometre. And of course, to go from kilometres to metres, you multiply by a thousand. To go from metres to millimetres, you multiply by one thousand. So you can draw grids like this. And of course, if you really wanted to, do, you can put centimetres in the middle and, and draw arrows in the middle as well. But I thought for this purposes of this, I'll keep it really simple. Um, but you can draw conversion keys for this um, for any units. Um, you can even have micrometers and uh, picometers and nanometers. Or you can do another one for mass. You can do another one for time. So you can do them for as many ones as you like. But I'm just going to put one on the screen while I continue my explanation. So they do have to remember that there are a thousand meters in a millimeter. Sorry, there are a thousand millimeters in a metre, and that there are 1,000 uh, metres in a kilometre. The hard part, of course, is this bit here. How do I remember if I divide or multiply? So what can we do to help with that? So as you can see, when you go down from a large unit to a small unit, you multiply. Multiply when going down. Okay, and when you're going from a small unit to a larger unit, you divide. Okay, so, so far, so good. Okay, so that, okay, that's easy. Going from a smaller one to a larger one, I'm going to divide. And if I'm going from a larger one to a smaller one, I'm going to multiply. But how do you remember that? So can we come up with a memory trigger? So the closest one I can come up with today is D-M-U-D. -D. Going down, you multiply, and then going up, you divide. Okay, okay, fine. Demud, can you remember demud? I, who, I don't know, I don't know if I can remember demud, but maybe you could. So can we turn that into mnemonic? Well, I came up with one this afternoon. You can, you might be able to come up with a better one, but give this one a try. I'm going to give this one a try on my students. Don't measure using drugs. <laughs> now, in my school, because I work in a, in a school that there's probably a lot of drugs in the community around me, um, uh, just be careful that you don't measure using drugs. Um, no, who knows what the outcome could be. So I think I might try that mnemonic out on them next time I see my students, especially as they're heading in to the end of the year and are going to be disappearing soon, and see if that is a tool that I can use in the future to help students with their conversion between measurements.